Hi there, I'm here today to give you a quick overview of the MA510TR. It's ICOM's Class B AIS transponder, designed for use by the leisure user. It gives you a radar style display of in increments up to 36 nautical miles of all the vessels around you that are transmitting their AIS data. This gives you the option of collision avoidance alarms for your own safety, and it also identifies you and your position on the water and your movements to the vessels around you. Okay, so we're now going to show you some of the features and some of the screens on the unit. Okay, so here is the basic display of the MA510TR showing you the vessels around you. Um, not many vessels out here in Herne Bay today, uh, weather's a bit grim out, outside, but there are vessels there. Um, once you've highlighted a vessel with the uh, left and right arrow keys, you can enter and read their details and it will show you several pages of information on that vessel. We can change our display to give us our position information and again we can put navigation on. Um, navigation is used for navigating uh, with range and bearing to uh, a waypoint that we've previously saved. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, so we go into the menu and I'll start at the top of the list. So the AIS list is the first item on the menu. That gives you your target list, which is everyone in view, a danger list for any, anyone that is a potential threat, and also a friends list for anyone that you've saved into, into memory of the MA510TR so that you know that uh, your friends are about. Um, we can then go into the AIS settings. Uh, here we can change the screen to north up or course up. Um, we can change the display settings of the targets, whether we see all targets, only dangerous targets, or only friends, or only those that we've decided to, uh, to store as a waypoint. Um, CPA, TCPA is your closest point of approach and time to closest point of approach. This gives you, um, uh, you can set your alarm settings here. So if you turn that alarm on, um, you can set the distance and you can set the time uh, that the alarm will be triggered. Um, you can turn the slow warn alarm on and also ID blocking. ID blocking would be any MMSI numbers uh, that you want your unit to ignore. Uh, so back down uh, to navigation settings. Here we can store waypoints. Um, we can reset everything, we can track, we can set our anchor watch. Um, arrival alarm, which will, uh, you can set the distance from your, your waypoint or your destination for the arrival alarm. Um, and your XTE alarm range, um, and you can just change uh, the distance uh, there. Um, let's change it up to half a mile. Friends list, um, so you've got your friends list, uh, which would be everyone that you've stored into the device that you know. You can then set a, a friends alarm and a range on that so you know when your friends are in the area. Enemy A settings, um, for anything you've connected to via Enemy A2000 or 0183, and you can adjust what is output and also the board rate of that output. It's important to get that right if it's going to appear on another device such as a plotter. In your configuration, you can change things such as your brightness, your day mode and night mode. Let's put it back to day. Um, key beep, audible alarms, um, even your language settings uh, are in there. AIS information, your own ship's data, um, so that's your own vessel data, um, will appear here. AIS messages um, in your receive log. Current status, I will tell you that your GPS is okay, um, time and date and everything is out, out okay. Status log. Radio information, and uh, that's just your serial number, software revisions, etc. So that's not anything you really need to worry about. 
Um, so now we'll show. Now we've shown you all the screens um, and menu options. I'll show you the GPS that the unit comes with. So this is the GPS mushroom style antenna that the unit comes with. SMA connector to the rear of the device. Okay, so here is your VHF antenna socket. It's very important that you have it connected to a VHF antenna at all times. This is NMEA 2000 for connecting to a plotter, or you can connect to a plotter via NMEA 0183. It's supplied with a plug that you make up uh, and connect to the relevant pins that you require on here. You've also got uh, a TX cancel switch that you can have to remotely turn the transmitter on and off on the device. This is your DC connector, so just DC in here. And then this one is where your supplied mushroom GPS antenna plugs in. Uh, so once all that's set up, you're ready to go. The only other connector on the back here is not anything to worry about. That's just for dealer programming for resetting of MMSI, etc. So we're going to set a waypoint and use the navigation screen now. Uh, so what we'll do is press menu, go into the navigation settings and choose a waypoint. From a waypoint that we've got set on screen, I can then navigate to, and here we go. So it's now showing us our navigation information here. Uh, we can press the display button and get it full screen, and that will give us range and bearing to our navigation point. So the MA510TR is an ideal solution for the leisure user and also lends itself to some light commercial applications. Fantastic features for collision avoidance So anyone that is safety conscious. Uh, it's an ideal tool for that as well. It's a standalone unit but can also output to a plotter. So it, it's a really versatile unit uh, that will fit nicely on any console.